I am Lucas from Lucasats, and today, you know, we're in the lab for once. You know, we don't really come in here very often, and anyone who's a bit new to my channel may not have actually seen it in here. In fact, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go outside real quick. And you may have seen this building. Well, this is uh, my. Oop. There goes my fire alarm. Um, this is my lab. Um, it's a pretty nice place. Uh, let me just grab my ID card. And put it in there. There we go. Grab that. And today I am actually going to be showing you a particle accelerator. Which is how we are going to split this zombie and this pig. And we are going to smash their particles together to make zombie pigment particles. And we are going to make some zombie pigmen. It's going to be really cool. So we only actually have enough particles here. Despite the fact that the zombie's head is a little bigger than usual. To make one zombie pigman because you know some of the particles will be lost in the process which is why I have to have this big fancy barrier thing which will accelerate the particles in front of us so we don't kind of explode so uh, we should probably be getting our safety helmets on as always and let's fire it up and there we have it a zombie pigman has formed from the part of the accelerator since he has um, a few side effects, as you can see by these strange particles flying off of him, maybe that's some of the stray particles from the zombie and pig. Uh, it seems that some of the particles, as you can see, flew off to form bacon. Now, guys, I thought I'd show you how this all works. You can make your own particle accelerator, which isn't really that great of an idea, but if you wanna have your own little zombie pigmen running around your base. You can do that. Now this does not just work with zombie pigmen, of course. It can work with any mob you like. Just add two mobs and a mob that they could turn into. So you could say do a spider and a skeleton and make them into a spider jockey. Which would be pretty nice. You could maybe take a... Hmm, what could else could you take? Hmm villager and a zombie and turn them into a villager zombie. That'd be pretty cool. And some other stuff like that. Anyway guys, we're going to have a look at how this works. So usually this is a section where I'd get rid of all the blocks and you can see all the redstone wiring. But there's not really that much. Um, there's a little button out there that I clicked to turn on the accelerator. This goes through these blocks. There's actually some iron blocks here. I just deleted them so I can show you that redstone. And this would go through these rails going through block, repeater, block, redstone, powering the sprayer, and it kind of carries on. Um, however, when we get to here, actually this is all useless, it just kind of matches the the rest of the track, so I put that there. Um, the kind of rail power from the initial button press, it will eventually run out. So this is why when we get to here, we put down some detector rails, which will, as the Minecraft rolls over here, power the rail in front, and so on and so forth till we get to these end rails and this is where all the magic happens as you can see these two pieces of redstone here are powered by the detector rails which then run into some command blocks which um, kills the closest zombie entity and the closest pig sorry piggies and uh, ah here it is it will then summon a pig zombie where they were just here just there um, so it's kind of um, it deletes their, the entities and summons a new one using the same particles from the previous entities, creating a particle accelerator. Then, um, to make sure it's okay and all, you know, fully particle accelerated, we have some splash potions of fire resistance in here to make sure that he didn't kind of blow up in the process of him being particle accelerated. And that's why we have those side effect particles coming off of him. So, um, yeah. So all this does is um, when these are powered, um, the redstone actually runs back there, comes around into these repeaters, into these. Now obviously we can't take out the blocks here to run it around like this because we have our command block. So I run it around like this. It will come, uh, it comes down from here, around into these repeaters, and then into the dispensers. So that is how that works, guys. You will yes be seeing a video on the latest snapshot. Oh, um, W fourteen W twenty one B. Yes, 
hopefully very soon. Um, probably the next video I post, actually. Um, so, yeah. I hope you like my practical XR idea, here, guys. Um, turning pigmen into... I mean, turning zombies and pigmen into zombie pigmen. If you did like it, do leave a like. It's greatly appreciated. And, of course, subscribe for more Minecraft content. Do comment down below on what you want to see next time. And, of course, guys, there's only one thing left to say. Goodbye!